I'll do my best to think about it in terms of how the American Psychiatric so uh, Association defines it, which is an uncontrollable or continued use of a substance. I'll put in or behaviour, despite its harmful consequences. Um, so that can be anything from alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, you know, they're the, the, the common types of addiction. An alcoholic doesn't necessarily have to drink every day of the, of, of the week, every morning. You know, that is traditionally what we think about it. But an alcoholic could drink once a year. It's what happens to them when they drink. You know, that their life becomes unmanageable, that their behaviour changes so dramatically, it becomes so chaotic. That is really what we're talking about when we're talking about addiction. And why do we do it? Because we need to soothe ourselves in some way. We know from research, and it's primarily American research, but we know from it that there is a very, a, a higher proportion of attorneys or people in the legal profession than in any other profession, certainly in the US, that are impacted or affected by addiction and or depression, anxiety disorders. And it's important that we think about that. Anxiety and depression depressive disorders are generally comorbid with something like a substance use disorder. Somebody would know that they are affected by addiction if they can recognise that their behaviour with a substance or an actual behaviour type is uncontrolled or out of control. But it's, it's, it's very hard to think about how do we know ourselves because addiction is connected to denial. So we might know it, but we certainly won't talk about it or, or name it or acknowledge it. If you can notice it for yourself and acknowledge it, fantastic. I mean, that is the largest piece of work in treating addiction. There's a great um, TED talk by uh, Johan Harry, but he's got a closing line which I think is just remarkable. And he says, the opposite of addiction is not abstinence. The opposite of addiction is connection. And I think it's so true. If you can, if you can create something that will means somebody wants to show up for something else, that's a really good help. It's a really good place to start maybe.